Hey guys, these are the oils that I have chosen in my hair. A lot of you have been asking me what type of oil am I using in the winter time. Here it is. This is the jojoba oil. It is rich in vitamins C, B, and E. It also helps to nourish the hair. Um, it also um, really penetrates in my hair. I love the way my hair look and feel whenever I use this oil. It also helps with hair loss and it um, promotes thickness in my hair. I can see a difference. Castor oil. This oil really, really hydrates my hair with other carrier oils. I noted, I noticed that as well. It keeps my hair soft and the moisture that I put in, this oil really, really helps my hair. A lot of people like to use this as a treatment because of its properties. It helps, it really does help to lubricate the hairs um, and it really does promote thickness as well. Like I said, I, I see a difference in my hair. Lastly, olive oil. Now, olive oil adds softness to my hair. I believe it's really strengthening my hair. It does have, um, it, it does help to moisturize my hair, but putting these three oils together really helps the health of my hair. You guys can see the difference. It really does help the health of my hair. And I love the way my hair look when using these oils. They are really amazing. The jojoba oil, olive oil, and the castor oil. Now I've put three ounces of the olive oil, jojoba oil, and um, two ounces of the castor oil because it is a thicker oil. Some people use castor oils as a sealant, but I can't because it'll really weigh my hair down. But it does add hydration and I love it. Okay guys, I'm back. So what I'm going to be doing now is using these oils because I have been getting a lot of questions about the oils that I'm using in the winter time. And I chose these oils, like I've mentioned before, the benefits of these oils. I've chose these oils because they work really well in my hair together when I do a mixture. They also work together by itself, except for the olive oil. If I use it by itself, then it just weighs my hair down. Castor oil does too, but the uh, jojoba oil works really well. And I, I'm going to start using that oil in a mix. And in the summertime, I may just use it by itself, but I'll talk a little bit more about um, the things that I'm doing to my hair, the herbs that I'm using, um, the essential oils, um, all of these things that I'm doing differently. I have seen some um, results in my hair and I've been doing this since this year started January 1. Okay, so I'm going to take my Redken um, split. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this too, but this is the Redken Extreme Length. Um, it's a sealer but I'm using it as a moisturizer. It keeps my hair very sleek and smooth and very soft. And once I put the oil on my hair, it really does help to keep my hair very soft, especially my new growth. I just mix a little of this with a little oil and I begin to just dab it on my scalp. Not really heavy, but um, it works good on my ends and it also works good on my new growth as well, but I use it mainly for the ends of my hair, okay? And as I showed you a little while ago when I was downstairs, this is the oil mix right here that I use. So I have three ounces of jojoba oil, three ounces of olive oil, and just two ounces of my castor oil. So I'm going to begin to... Um, do my hair and I've already combed it out. That's why I just took the comb and did it like this for you scholars that that's looking right now. You see how my hair looks already? You see that? Like it doesn't need it, but the ends of my hair, it does need it. See that? The ends of my hair, it does need it. Like I said, wintertime my hair tends to get just a tad drier, just a tad. But other than that, it's all good. Everything else is good. So 
but yeah so we're about to take care of that and i think i'll just do it to right here just this right here maybe about a good two inches okay so i'm not going to really section um my hair i'm just going to put it in two sections i'm not going to put it in four sections that's what i mean um and then i'll start with that because my hair is not really um dry but the ends of my hair before they start to get dry i just want to touch bases with that can y'all see that this side look a little thicker doesn't it and i sleep on this side i don't understand that someone was saying you maybe you should sleep on your, on your right side so i don't get that i don't get that and i sleep on this side but so i'll just section this part off because it does seem a little thicker and that's towards the back of my hair you see that that castor oil really does help my hair um especially when i'm stretching it really does help my hair but i still can't use it by itself i did do a um not a trim but i did do a um just a little dusting on my ends that was a couple of weeks ago so but my ends are looking pretty good they're looking pretty good so yeah but I can see a little thickness going on right now. 12 weeks post relaxer. I'm 12 weeks. So yeah. So I'm about to take this. And I'll do a, another review on this by itself. Um, but once again, I got it from Amazon. And it was $25. And yes, I'm going to continue to use this. So just in case somebody asks. So I'm just going to. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm very short. <laughs> I'm on my tippy toes right now. Okay. So as you can see, this part doesn't really need it. But I am going to go and um, lubricate my scalp with this. Okay. So it doesn't really need any moisture. My hair is already soft up there. But I'm just going to lubricate it so that my scalp won't get too dry. And that's another thing I was saying about the oils. All of these oils, even if you use it by yourself, it does help with dryness as, as well. So you can use it on the scalp as well. And I know a lot of you already use it on the scalp, but just a reminder. And no, I don't have any essential oils. I do have oils that um, I do have. Uh, essential oils, but I have been using this particular oil mix for my hot oil treatment. And normally I do put essential oils in there like peppermint or rosemary. I'm really fond of those two oils. All essential oils are good, but I'm really fond of the peppermint um, oil uh, and the rosemary oil. I, I really love those oils. So yeah, and this is how it looks. Look at there. Like I flat iron it. Look like I flat iron it. Look at that. And it matches this up here. You see that? That looks really good. So I'm going to do the back of this one. See how that look? Just going to do the back. I don't know why that looks so blunt like that. Okay. All right. Make sure you rub it in good. Whenever you're using a moisturizer, you want to make sure that you are rubbing it in really, really good. Really, really good. You see that? It's already a game changer. You see how my hair looks? Like I put on the oil. I like this stuff. Yes, buddy. Okay. So now I'm going to put the oil in. Mm -mm.
right. Okay, see how it looks? All right. Okay. So I'm going to finish this side and then oil my scalp and then I'll see you guys in a little while. Okay, finish this up and then I'm going to oil my entire scalp. You won't see that because you guys already seen me oil my scalp before a couple of times. So give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry it took so long. I like to really give myself a good massage um, for at least five minutes whenever I lubricate my scalp or put some moisture on it and then seal it with an oil. But tonight I didn't have to moisturize because I think I had enough moisture. I just needed to add just a little lubricant and that was the oil mix. And once again, this is the oil mix of the jojoba, olive, and castor oil. So yeah, and this is how my hair looks. The ends of my hair feels amazingly hydrated. I love that. I really, really love that, okay? Hydration and moisture is key, all right? Hydration and moisture is key, okay? It's key. It really is. It keeps the hair moisturized and it helps um, promote um, growth into your hair. It really does. Just keep it hydrated and moisturized, okay, whenever it needed. You don't have to overload yourself with moisture and hydration, okay. Keep that in mind as well. You want to keep a balance, okay. But this is how my hair looks, okay. See how my hair look? Right here, it looked like I flat ironed it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And this was, this one to last me throughout the week. I may check in on it again, but today is just Monday, okay, um, the 28th, and I did just upload a video. I was able to do that because only one of our grandchildren had homework and the other two didn't, so I allowed them to read for about a good half an hour, okay? So I was able to upload that video for you guys this evening, okay? And I hope and pray that Sorry you for the interruptions, it. but the kids also had a half a day today. Well, okay? So I'm going to end the video here. I um, just wanted you guys to look at my hair and talk a little bit about those oils and how it is helping my hair to stay healthy, okay? Healthy hair will grow. Keep that in mind. A lot of people ask, how do I have my, how do I make my hair grow? All you have to do is just take care of your scalp by keeping it clean, moisturize when it needed, keep those ends clipped, and all will be well. It's just basic, just simple, basic things to do. And if you have products, make sure that they are the right products for your hair and be consistent with those products, okay? Don't follow trends, when, especially when it comes to your hair, okay? Do not follow trends. I feel seeing a lot of people hair fall out because they're following trends on YouTube. What works for them may not work for you. Please keep that in mind, okay? So this is the hair, all right? How it looks. And I'll show the back. Okay, so I'm going to bun it and then I'm going to wash up and I'm going to get ready for bed because it's almost 8.45 and I get, I get up very early in the morning, okay? So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs the video up. Also, don't forget to share the video and also if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? It's totally free, okay? Click the button and then press the bell. And you'll see videos of me every single week. Thank you ever kindly for watching me. God bless you. Good night. Bye.